very good morning students i hope you all are fine and safe with your family students today in english we will begin with the new topic in writing skills and the name of the topic is speech writing children on republic day and independence day you must have seen many parents teachers and other community members coming out impressed from the school while saying certain words which holds the message for life even we teachers and various heads of institutes who advise motivate inspire engage you on those days and other important days it is called as speech so today we are going to learn a new topic that is called as speech writing what is a speech a speech is an oral communication to a group of people it is usually delivered for a specific purpose and on a particular theme it means a speech is an oral communication to a group of people and it is usually delivered for a specific purpose and also on a particular theme format of speech writing what is the format of speech writing it includes introduction body and conclusion three things is must when we write speech writing tips to remember there are certain points to remember while framing a speech it means certain points we have to remember while we frame any of the speech the first one is a strong introduction which will capture the attention of the audience so what it means whenever we start writing with the speech any of the speech strong introduction is must which capture the attention of the audience second put all the facts together one after the other try to influence the minds of the audience listeners and be simple and clear it means whenever we start writing our speech or whenever we say the speech we should keep all the facts together one after the other which tries to influence the minds of the audience or listeners and the speech should be very simple and it should be clear next find an interesting way to end the speech so when we are ending the speech it should be little bit interesting also next you can use quotations or a short story or anecdote in the beginning so what other things can we begin with we can use quotations we can also use a short story or anecdote in the beginning you can use appropriate quotes and proverbs in the middle and at the end okay students so it means we can also use appropriate quotes and proverbs either in the middle or at the end always remember to begin your speech with a greeting or salutation and end with a greeting also remember to thank the audience at the end of the speech so what it means it means that we should always keep in mind when we say the speech when we are beginning with the speech it should start with the greeting or salutation and it should end with a greeting also and one more thing to remember that we should also thank the audience at the end of the speech i hope students this all tips must be clear with everyone moving ahead students let's quickly revise points to remember start off with the greeting it should be followed by salutation or a greeting extended to the dignitaries and audience then you can start with introducing the topic by using these words feel privileged for this opportunity to express my opinion 
on a very thought provoking topic the body of the speech must consist of short story proverb examples to facts conclude the speech appropriately and remember to thank your audience while concluding so we can conclude our sentence by using these sentences for example just as a thankful heart conveys a thousand words i would like to conclude my speech with a simple thank you and also we can conclude thank you for being a, such a patient and wonderful audience i hope students these all points must be clear with everyone moving ahead let us go now to a sample of speech writing prepare a speech to be delivered in the school assembly highlighting the role of students in preservation and conservation of environment so what is the question question is we are pre uh, supposed to prepare a speech that is to be delivered in the school assembly highlighting the role of students in preservation and conservation of environment a very good morning to our respected principal teachers and my dear friends today i am mona singh going to talk about the role of school children in the preservation and conservation of environment sometimes we are overwhelmed by the extent of damage humans have caused to the environment and i am not sure if an individual can make any impact but i am sure we the children can certainly take little steps towards improving our environment we should attempt to reduce waste before it becomes waste we should avoid wastage of paper by using it on both sides we should try our best to conserve the existing resources so that they do not get exhausted we should not waste water while taking a bath and most certainly we can take a shorter bath we should always turn electrical switches off when not in use especially personal computers and electronics which can consume a lot of energy we should use energy saving light bulbs we should reduce the use of petroleum based products like plastics we should use biodegradable products in the end i would like to say that a small step taken today will become a giant leap tomorrow it will go on a long way in preserving and conserving the environment thank you so i hope students how to write speech what is the format of writing speech and what all things to be included in the speech writing must be clear with everyone i hope you all must have enjoyed watching the video and i request you all to once again watch the video and you all can clear your doubts till the time students stay safe and thank you so much